Hi, I'm Matt Wilson. And I am Miguel Ramondes. And in this issue of Neuron, we'll describe a potential mechanism by which coherent theta oscillations serve to coordinate interactions between the hippocampus and cingulate cortex during decision making. Coherent oscillations between the brain cortex and the hippocampus at a theta frequency of 5 to 10 Hz are believed to synchronize the two structures whenever the brain retrieves information from memory to guide decisions. In order to investigate whether distinct frequencies of theta carry contextual information from its storage place in the hippocampus to cortical regions regulating decision making, we rewarded rats for choosing sequentially from four distinct trajectories, each marked by a configuration of spatial cues. Rats learn this task after two to three weeks of daily training. But rotation of the maze relative to contextual cues results in substantial decrease in their performance levels, indicating the need for a stable representation of context, possibly stored in hippocampus as a spatial map. In order to test whether processing behavior relevant contextual information is associated with specific patterns of cortical hippocampal coordination, we implanted electrodes inside the brain to record neural activity from hippocampus and cingulate cortex. A cortical area believed to associate actions with the resulting outcomes in the context in which they happen to control decision making. When we analyzed the LFP and spikes from cingulate and hippocampus, we realized that as rats move from a preparatory stage at the onset of each trial to an executive stage where choices are made, the accuracy with which neurons identify the trajectory being run, their coding accuracy, increases first in hippocampus, then in cingulate. This is associated with a parallel decrease in the mean frequency of theta coherence, with trial onsets dominated by coherence at high theta frequencies of 8 to 10 Hz, and low coding accuracy and decision stages by relatively higher coherence at low theta frequencies, 5 to 7 Hz, and higher coding accuracy. Thus, over the course of a trial, increasing levels of choice-relevant information correspond to decreasing frequencies of theta coherence. The fact that such changes in theta frequency had only been seen if induced pharmacologically or in response to behavioral manipulations, such as increased novelty or increased sensorial input, indicates that we might have identified a channel within the theta band, allowing singlet cortex the retrieval of contextual information relevant to control sequential choices. We currently hypothesize that decision-making requires a directional stream of contextual information from hippocampus to singlet cortex, carried by coherent low theta oscillations.